Okay, so we will make a four eyes like this, and for that we need six beads one, two, three, four, five, six, and a string. So we got the beads one, two, three, four, five. Six, six beads, and a piece of string. And I'm using these beads and this string because they fit very well together. But what you, whatever you get, can work for this. This is uh, always a process of finding things that fit fit together well. Um, this is a cotton string that is woven. And I'm just going to take a piece of that. And we have our six beads. And now it's very simple to make a four eyes. We just get, we begin with one eye. And for that we put three beads on the string. So we have one, and two, And number three. So that is three beads on a string as in a necklace. Now I take the same end of the string or the other and put this in where the other end of the string comes out. So we make ends meet and we close the loop of the first eye, the first triangle. And then we can pull on that and the triangle simply closes. That's always a sign for having made something whole, is that you can pull on it and it comes into shape. So this is the first eye. We want four eyes. For the second eye we will put two beads on one side of the string. This string is probably going to be too short. We'll see. One and two. And now we already have three beads on the string. Because the first one that we were coming out of is just like bead one. And we have two more on that. And now we take the other end of the string and make ends meet again. So we bring this in where the other comes out. Like that. And when we pull on this, the second eye will close. And we now have a pair of eyes. And my string is a little short. I'm just going to move it through a little more into the middle. Okay, so here's the pair of eyes, which can fold. And now we want to close this corner, which is the inside corner around which we are turning with our compass, while this is the outside corner. The inside has three fingers, the outside has only two. And when three is what we want for the four eyes, three fingers around one corner, we can say we want to close this. So we take the inside string that is coming out of this bead and we put it into the bead on the other side here so that it goes out of that corner. Oops. Now it's coming out here. Pull on that. Now I'm coming out of two beads, so I need a third bead to make a whole triangle, a whole a whole eye, and I just put that on both. Uh, I put both ends of the string through it. One goes one way, the other goes the other way. Then we pull that, and now we've got three one, two, three of the eyes already all connected, which shows us this beautiful corner here has all connections in it. This eye here already has the beads there, or as I call them, the fingers. 
but there is not yet a connection drawn between these three. So that's what we're going to do. So we feed the string, one end of the string to, in two. Let's take the longer one here. Goes into one and into a second. Now we're coming out of one corner, which is a good place to make a knot. But before we do that, we'll just close that eye first, just to have something that we can pull close. So I'm going to feed this, this short end of the string into the bead that the other one comes out. And now I got back to bead one. I can pull this tight. And we could keep growing if we put some more string onto it and more beads. Um, but to finish this as a four eyes, which is just a four eyes on its own, we can just take that B, uh, that string back to that one corner where it meets with the other string end. And I'm going to make a reef knot here, so I go one way first, this one over the other, like that. Pull that tight and try to get the whole thing a little tight. Okay. Whoops, sorry. And the second knot goes the other way around. So this one is in the front and this one is coming out the back of the knot. So now we're going to do this one over the one that goes in the back and around it. And we pull that close, and that is oops, <laughs> that is a knot in our umbilical cord. And after the, making that knot, now we can feed our two ends of the string through the two adjacent beads or fingers, like that, so that it's. It's not coming out of the corner anymore, but it's hidden in the bead, which is good for the knot, and also good if we want to, at some point, open this up to do something with it. And pull that through. So that is how that corner looks like. Now we got these two remainders of the string, which we can just cut off. One. two and that is the four eyes and every corner looks similar there's always three fingers connected by three strings in there and there's one corner that has the knot and that's how you make a four eyes And that was stupid! <laughs>